Hi everybody, this is Melissa from Dolly Pop Productions and I'm here to do a um, promo video for, um, okay, I can't pronounce her YouTube name. I think it's K Shaz Designs. We call her Shaz here on YouTube, but I'll link her information below. And um, what she wanted in her challenge was uh, some junk journal pages for us to alter and make and send to her and then she's going to make a journal out of them. Um, and so what I did, uh, and she wants them six inches by eight inches, so um, here is my altered page that I did for her. What I did was two, I took two pieces of, of um, cream color cardstock and I glued them together, but inside I put this piece of lace. I cut a circle out and put this piece of lace so it would show like a window. Isn't that cool? So, also we're supposed to leave a one inch margin here on the left, and um, and I did that with the tag and everything, and she can just bind over my painting, it doesn't matter. Um, I put, I painted my roses on the paper, and then I put this lace here, um, she can use this as a pocket, and then I made this tag out of this real pretty paper that's double sided, and I just dressed distress the edges with the Tim Holtz pink distress ink. Um, I think it is, I can't remember the name of it. I think it's worn lipstick, but I'm not real positive. And then um, I just took my ink pad and just did some funky design right there. And um, she could just use this as a pocket right here and then it still gives her that one inch margin on the left. She wants that kind of, uh, so she can bind it. So. And this is right here is some crinkled seam binding that I used. And just put a bow here on the end and I'll put it across here too. Just to make it real girly and fun. I also distressed the edges with that Tim Holtz ink. So, and on the back, um, it's kind of the same. I didn't do the seam binding because I didn't want it too, too thick. I just made another pocket using this paper right here. And not sure if you can see it, but I put cheesecloth on top of that. Just give it a different, real pretty look. And of course I signed my painting here. All of this is hand painted by me. And then I just made some tags here to put inside. And I just thought those were so cute. And of course this will be, you know, because as you turn it over, this will be the one inch margin on that side. So anyway, um... Anyway, Shaz, I hope you like it, and I need to get your address so I can get this out in the mail to you. Her challenge goes to the end of this month, so um, if y'all want to join in the challenge, it's a lot of fun. I'll link um, her video, and she'll explain all about the challenge in that, but I'll link that down below. And also, she wants you to alter uh, or paint, alter the um, envelope that it gets mailed in. So I did kind of a matching theme here with this envelope and I hand painted it. What I did is I just took one of those envelopes, you know, that you get and I um, covered it with some paper that I got. Uh, I think this is a Tim Holtz paper, I'm not really sure. And then I painted my roses on that. And then I Mod Podged it over that with some flat uh, colored Mod Podge um, over that, you know, just to protect it and stuff because it will be going in the mail. And then the other side, I used that Tim Holtz um, Ideology paper and put that on here. And then I took some more of the paper, I ripped it, and I put it in kind of like a, a weave um, fashion there. And then I just took some regular pink paper and I made hearts out of it. I distressed the edges with that uh, same ink that I distressed this with. And I just drew on some little stitches there and then signed it. So there is your mail that will be going to you, Shaz. And I hope you like it. And um, I'm going to add a couple other things to, and since it's international, it won't be a whole lot because I've got to keep the shipping down, but um, anyway, I will put in a few extra goodies for you, and um, I think, 
can show you the goodies. I just made some these little altered um, tags and I just have these little charms hanging from them. So that's what I did for your challenge and I hope you can use them. And I just thought that one was really cute with the little key hanging from it. But yeah, you can staple them on there and do whatever you want to. So I hope you like this and thank you so much for um, watching my videos, y'all. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. And thank you, Shaz, for this challenge. I had so much fun. Never altered a, an envelope before. So that really challenged me. I've been wanting to do it and haven't yet. So until now. So anyway, thanks, y'all. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Love you all very much. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.